Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. The Kingston Freeport Terminal, KFTL, says it's seen more than a 20% uptick in the volume of cargo being processed over the last two years. The company also says it's hired more employees as it expands and makes improvements. While shipping bottlenecks tightened, the local ports were strategically positioned to benefit from more Jamaicans doing online shopping and eyeing new trade links. CEO of Kingston Freeport Terminal Limited KFTL, Captain Joyce Mierski, says the terminal has seen more than a 20% increase in the volume of cargo handled. Year of 20 to 22, KFTL, KFTL volume grow 28%. It's meaning that from roughly one and a half million thousand TU to two million TU. The number, the number of our employees also grows, grows massively. In the last two years, we have employed 220 people. The CEO has also been vocal in the last few months, indicating the terminal could also do with more space for the increased volume. Prime Minister Andrew Holness says the government will be looking at adjacent lands to allow for the port's expansion. While speaking at the handing over of 19 new straddle carriers worth 20 million US dollars at the port today, Mr. Holness says the port's performance shows the importance of public-private partnerships, PPPs. The role of government is not to be operator of everything. The role of government is to empower private initiative. Global shipping firm CMA CGM has been operating KFTL in a 30-year concession agreement since 2016. President and CEO of the Port Authority of Jamaica, Professor Gordon Shirley, says significant investment has been made since the PPP. We have had 178 million spent on the infrastructure, meaning the dredging, the pavement, the workshop extension, all of that has been spent. 54 million has been spent on equipment, aside from the 19 straddle carriers you see here, another 10, so 29 straddle carriers have been acquired, along with two gantry cranes, uh, 19 terminal tractors, six empty container handlers, six roadheads, and 14 forklifts. There, and another 16 million has been spent on new information systems. To some monetary policy news now, the Bank of Jamaica has intervened in the foreign currency market twice this week. A total of 60 million US dollars was pumped into the system between today and yesterday. It's about the 10th intervention since the start of 2022. Now today, eight banks and five cambios received shares in the flash sale, the National Commercial Bank NCB received the largest share, followed by JMMB and JMMB Securities. And after that flash sale, the U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $154.13. $113.28 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar, $175.56 for the pound, while it's costing an average $152.07 for the euro. The JSC index fell by 1,739 points today, while the Juno market index lost 12 points. Among the winners were Epley, Lumber Depot, Salada Foods Jamaica, Kaylee Group and Lasco Financial Services. The losers included 138 Student Living Jamaica Variable Preference Shares, Iron Rock Insurance, Epley 7.5% Preference Shares, CAC 2000 9.5% Shares and Everything Fresh. And that's the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening.